people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to yet another video talking about the recently released FNAF movie teaser trailer. Us FNAF fans are eating so good right now because, again, with the recent release of the first teaser trailer for the upcoming film, we've now gotten so many more behind-the-scenes images of set photos, as well as a brand new still being released for the film showing off a terrifying animatronic saw trap that we're gonna see Mike have to encounter in the upcoming film. So if you're excited for all the brand new movie talk don't forget to scroll down tickle that subscribe button if you haven't already and my god quickly before we hop into the new teasers and set photos let me just talk about how amazing the trailer has been doing so far i mean yesterday it reached number one trending on youtube as you can tell this is an old screenshot because it doesn't even have 5 million views in that photo but as of recording right now it's up to like 11 or 12 million and actually across so many social medias like instagram facebook tiktok youtube twitter i was able to calculate about 9 9 p.m. Eastern Time last night that the teaser gained almost 80 million views across all those platforms, which is just absolutely insane. That's only 24 hours after release this teaser trailer is doing crazy numbers I can't comprehend. Also, a 4K Ultra HD version of the trailer was released by Trailer Spot. In my analysis video yesterday, I threw in some screenshots and footage from that HD trailer, but if you want to check it out in full, I'll leave it linked uh, down below. But now let's start moving on to some of the official brand new info we've had since this teaser has been released. Starting off with the surprising news that an official novel based on Blumhouse's FNAF movie will be releasing later this year on December 5th. The description for the book states the official movie novelization of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. The hugely anticipated Five Nights at Freddy's movie from director Emma Tammy, starring Matthew Lillard of Scream and Scooby-Doo and Josh Hutcherson of the Hunger Games series and The Disaster Artist, hits theaters on October 27th, 2023. With a script from creator Scott Cawthon, Seth Cudback, and Emma Tammy, this movie novelization is a must-have for any Freddy fan. Now, it is not uncommon for some movies to receive a novel version of themselves, Themselves. Traditionally, they follow a very similar, almost identical plot with what happens in the film. Sometimes scenes are cut, sometimes extra scenes are added in for a bit more context, but it'll be pretty interesting to see how the story of the movie plays out in a physical version of a novel. I'm kind of intrigued by that. So we got that to look forward to December 5th later on this year. Moving on now, we got a brand new set photo released by Dolly Doxon, who is an extra on the FNAF movie. And what they showed off is pretty exciting because it is the inside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. To actually quote Dolly from their video, they said, but this was all one entire big set. Everything was connected. Where the employees made the pizza, to where we were sitting, to where the stage was. Even the ball pit, you could just go right there. We did see an overhead shot of the interior of the pizza place, of course, in the teaser. Though it was pretty dark, so it was kind of difficult to make out exactly where everything was located in, uh, you know, inside the building. But just for a bit of references, you can see the same Chica, you know, stained glass featurette in both the set photos. So that does give us a bit more context on where the arcade is located inside. Of course, you have all the chairs and tables scattered around, the iconic checkered board pattern in the back and then kind of in the main area where everyone is eating and presumably in the arcade uh, section as well you have the confetti you know stereotypical arcade carpet in the back towards the actual arcade you can see a few more posters off to the side it's a little difficult to make out what is on the posters but based on the fact that there's four of them and they all have uh, you know very simple designs with basic colors and you can just barely see Bonnie Chica Freddy and Foxy I believe in that order from left to right in the posters but just just an insane set and the fact that it's all in one big area like Dolly said everything on the set was connected I mean they basically built an entire fully fledged restaurant for this movie which is insane again I really hope we get more maybe after the movie releases a few more images and behind the scenes videos uh you know for this set specifically I know Daco and Raz and the Ryans and all those guys did record behind the scenes videos while they were visiting the set so hopefully we can get that pretty soon, but I'd assume they're going to wait until after the movie's out. But, like, the attention to detail is just insane. They even have these stars on the chairs. Of course, you know, the chairs are a bit different for this movie adaptation. But the fact that they're going to that extreme level of detail just shows the amount of dedication the crew has for this project. Next up, we got another and our final behind-the-scenes photo for today's video. This one, I cannot believe, has been released just because it, it looks insane. This is what it is. As you can tell, it is a 
close-up shot of the animatronic heads for Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. And I'm sure, as you can tell from the silhouette, but someone was posing in the picture. Of course, we've blurred them, we've censored them for their privacy. But this is just an absolutely insane look at these animatronic characters that Jim Henson Studio made for this film. If I had to take a guess, I'd assume that these are not the fully-fledged, you know, actual full-scale robots they made. I think it's entirely likely these are just, you know, temporary heads they made for actors to wear to act out more advanced and complex movements for these characters that maybe fully fledged robots can't do. Even though these robots are very, very technologically advanced for this film, of course, there are just some certain actions that robots cannot perform as well as actors underneath the suit. So if I had to take a guess, I'd assume that is what these are. And just the attention to detail these guys have is, oh my gosh, I still cannot believe that these are real out there somewhere. They look like they were pulled straight from the game. Chica looks spot on, Bonnie as well, Freddy in the back, we can just barely see both them back there. Genuinely, this is yet another form of media for the movie that I've just been staring at for the past couple minutes because I just can't get over how well made these guys are. I really do hope at some point we can get a closer up shot of the Foxy animatronic because we've gotten a lot of looks at him from the teaser and the poster, but we haven't seen like a, a fully fledged photo of his face IRL, if you know what I mean. So again, just another aspect of this film that I hope once it's out, we get a whole bunch of behind the scenes photos and videos of these animatronics. And I really hope maybe after the film is released, they go up on display at Jim Henson's shop or whatever, maybe in Universal's resort. That'd be insane to go see. But of course, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these animatronic heads. I still just can't get over how game accurate these guys look. And now let's move on to the final topic for today's video, and that is, of course, this teaser. This was released last night, an official Getty image released by Universal featuring Josh Hutcherson as Mike. And that is confirmed, by the way, in the actual description for this released image, it says Josh Hutcherson as Mike. I know there are some people who are like, I, we, you know, we can't see his face straight on. That could be a different character. That is Josh as Mike. And it looks like, like I said at the start of this video, just an animatronic like saw trap. Like it looks absolutely insane very terrifying. Now, I'm sure as all of you have probably noticed by now, hey, wait a second, we saw that in the teaser trailer. And that's right, this is the contraption that straps, you know, someone down and this terrifying animatronic, you know, endo face with these like spinning saw blades come closer to your face and well, presumably kills you. Now, what's interesting is if you saw my trailer analysis yesterday, you'll know that in that shot of someone being strapped down to this contraption, that's not actually Mike. That is the other Night Watchman security guard we saw at the uh, towards the end of the teaser trailer, presumably who is the guard before Mike gets the job. And we were all thinking, all right, maybe that's how he dies. He gets stuck inside this terrifying contraption and, you know, the job is now vacant. And now Mike applies, he gets the job, FNAF at Freddy's movie. But there was still that one scene in the teaser that I speculated maybe it was just edited, where we do see Josh's character of Mike inside this contraption with the saw blades coming closer and closer to his face. Well, it seems like we now know both the security guards, the old one and Mike, are going to be stuck inside this trap. I'd assume Mike gets out, but, uh, you know, like I said, I don't think the same fate is going to apply to the first security guard. Now, what exactly this contraption is, who this character is even, we're not entirely sure. I think it's 50-50 right now. This is either number one, the movie's adaptation of spring locks. As we all know, however, the FNAF 1 animatronics don't have spring locks, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that is a change they make for general audiences for the film. But I think more likely this is the movie's version of being stuffed inside a suit. We did have that quote from Phone Guy in FNAF 1, you know, the suits are filled with wires and crossbeams and animatronic devices. And the only parts of you that would see the light of day again were the eyes as they pop out the front of the mask and maybe the teeth as well. And frankly, that description lines up perfectly with what we're seeing here, a whole bunch of technology inside the face of the mascot that would crush and rip up a whole bunch of your head and face. I mean, it doesn't look pleasant at all. All right, well, we've gotten the what's out of the way. Either it's a spring lock animatronic or it's being stuffed inside a suit. But what is the who? Because this is not our movie version of Freddy Fazbear. I think we were all surprised when we learned that the main part of the movie was taking place after the pizzeria had all closed down and the animatronics were just kind of left inside the pizzeria to rot. But then the teaser comes out and we see the animatronics 
you know, basically in perfect condition. No scratches, no parts of their bodies, like, rotting or molding away. I mean, honestly, you know, they've gotten a few scratches on the eyelids of their face, but that's kind of it. They look perfectly pristine. But now we've gotten this teaser of a more beat-up version of a Freddy you know, mascot head. The first thing that stuck out to me was the endo ear. You got a huge chunk of the ear missing, exposing the endoskeleton beneath. Coincidentally, this is the same ear that the Freddy in the teaser we saw released back in May was missing. A lot of people speculated that was Golden Freddy because of the missing ear. Maybe this is the old Golden Freddy suit, and maybe that's why it has those spring lock-like devices inside of its skull, and maybe that's how it gets its missing ear, because it's already beaten up in this teaser, and just maybe Maybe. I know this is a huge stretch, but stay with me for a moment. Let's say hypothetically Mike doesn't survive this stuffing. Maybe he does, you know, die, pass away, possess this brand new Freddy variation. Maybe that's why Freddy and Abby were so friendly in that May teaser. What if Mike is now possessing that destroyed costume because that is what he's being stuffed into during this scene. Like I said, I know it's a massive stretch. Honestly, I'd be shocked if they killed off Mike in this film. I know that may seem unlikely because they have expressed interest in a second and third film, and you'd think they'd want to introduce like Jeremy Fitzgerald for the FNAF 2, you know, film. But honestly, I think having Josh involved with the film has brought in so much more attention to it. And I mean, you look in line, people have already fallen in love with Josh's you know, interpretation and appearance of Mike in this movie adaptation, I kind of have my doubts that they are going to, you know, kill him off. Again, I know that doesn't traditionally fit with what we know from the game lore, but you know, this is a movie adaptation. Things can change specifically for general audiences who don't know about Jeremy Fitzgerald. But I would love to know what are your thoughts and theories with this brand new costume? Do you think it's spring locks? Do you think he's being stuffed inside the suit? Do you think this is our main Freddy Fazbear animatronic and maybe kind of similar to Willy's Wonderland in a way, the more the night goes on, the more beaten up the animatronics get? Do you think this is the old Golden Freddy or Fredbear suit with those spring locks? Do you think Mike's gonna go on to possess this Freddy variant? I know a lot of people have had worries that because it's most likely gonna be a PG-13 film, it's gonna be toned back a lot with its horror and, and uh, gore, but honestly, with this teaser, Holy crap, I have a feeling they're going to go balls to the walls with it. That's going to do it for this quick news video on the recently released FNAF teaser trailer. Again, thoughts, theories, please tell me in the comments down below. Let's get some discussions going. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.